welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you all so very much for joining me today. Today, we're rocking my crime and crochet shirt. And I have goodies from Hoppa Lappy. Some of those goodies are clearance goodies. Like y'all are a lot lower than normal. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, some of those are clearance goodies, which is pretty cool. They had, actually all of them are, ooh, snack. Yes, all of them are, because it was 30% off week. Every other week, Hobby Lobby has 30% off sell yarn. I don't know if y'all knew that. If you didn't get in on the fun, if you can't get to Hobby Lobby, that stinks, and I'm sorry. Some of my friends don't live in the U.S., don't have Hobby Lobby. Not cool, by the way, Hobby Lobby. Get with it, you know what I mean? But, anywho, <laughs> yeah. Every other week, yarn is 30% off. Also, they had their Yarnology things for 50% off. Good deals. So, let's see what we got. Fix my chair. All right, cool. I did have the mana sack, but then I've been moving things. So they got moved as well because, you know, life, life be like, am I right? So, okay. So I got two of I Love This Yarn in the color black. The solids, like almost everything else, solids have more than variegates. So, 7 ounces, 199 grams, 355 yards, or 325 meters. 100% uh, acrylic, 5 millimeter knitting needles, 5.5 crochet hook. Um, <clears throat> I went to Hobby Lobby, and then after I went to Joanne because I needed, like, some of, like, a specific yarn, like a pink, a specific pink for our spring cow blanket. Y'all, it was almost like Michael's in there. It blew my mind when I walked in at how expensive everything has become. Used to, Hobby Lobby was like the upper echelon of box store yarn. Like that's where you were like, oh, dang, $4.99 a skein? I don't know. They have 30% off. That's probably the time to go. I went to, okay, we discussed on here and on several of my friends have discussed Michael's and how their yarn is like, Eleven ninety nine now, like American, like eleven ninety nine, which is crazy. Things that used to be like seven dollars, stuff like that. I may add that in at the end of this because I did like a little like, shop with me through Joanne, but it's really short because I was just like, oh my gosh, and <laughs> all of the prices. Um, yeah, the regular big twist yarn, which I love. I do not mind. That's honestly, like, this is kind of my splurge. The, like, I love this yarn. Joanne Big Twist yarn was kind of my, like, whatever. Because I've gotten it for, like, $1.74 a skein. And it's usually three-something a skein. It was four forty seven dollars a skein. And this is four ninety nine. dollars So for 20 more cents, just a second. I'm going to go ahead. And then there's 30% off week. So... And that was like one of the cheapest things in there. They had just regular like peaches and cream was expensive. Their thread. I mean, everything was pricey. So I don't mean to like bellyache right off the bat, but it's starting to be more worth it, y'all. <laughs> Something. And I hope they don't raise their prices. Hobby Lobby, please expand your stores and don't raise your prices. Just a small request from a crocheter. Thank you. Okay. Two of those. <laughs> so... And then, you know how to scooch in and roll one on this one, just so y'all know. Okay. I also have free patterns, which is always really a cool time. And I may have had this one. I don't think that I do, but if I do, I'll stick it in the giveaway whenever I do my giveaway for very long. But it's Crocheted Lovies. It has... Cute little flamingo on the front with this little dude on the back. Super cute sloth. So I like him a whole lot. So got that too. Okay. Then as far as I love this yarns go, um, like I mentioned, these don't have as much. So these are 252 yards, 142 grams, five ounces. Um, also a four weight. This is the color fruit salad. I've seen this one a few times, but it reminds me of confetti cake. And so I always think it's really pretty, but I feel like a hat. 
but that would be really pretty. So we got that one. And I don't think that I've ever seen these other ones. Maybe, but I don't think so. That doesn't mean they're new. I've probably seen them. Just, you know, there's so many pretty things. It's hard to remember. I know I've seen this one, though. This one is Nova Scotian Sky. Beautiful book. Kind of, I don't know, oceany blue green and that. They're beautiful oceany blue, that lime green and that dark blue. Christmas hats whenever I saw these. <clears throat> and then this one, I don't think I've seen this one. This is blue green multi. I feel like surely that's something they have because that's not a very fancy name, but man, it's so pretty. So I love that. So with those thinking hats. three kiddos, three hats. <laughs> um, and then I got, this one is the color plums. I think that is gorgeous. My goodness. It's pretty blues and purples and like mauve, white, and that gray. That's a good hat as well. I feel like. So I got those. I got the black because I have no black yarn. I don't know how that's even possible. I have no black yarn, so that's why I got those. I got these for hats, was my thought. <clears throat> and then I mentioned the other day whenever I did my gnome home, um, I'm keeping, which to me has been 10 minutes, so, but um, I'm packing up almost all of this. Um, I'm going to keep out some whips, and I'm keeping out some cotton for, like, washcloths and, um, hand towels and trivets and things like that at the new house and I saw this and it's so pretty so I grabbed it this is the crafter secret cotton and this is the color ocean stripe there are two ounces 57 grams 95 yards 95 yards 86 meters 100 percent cotton look at that la la that's pretty so Yes, so I got that for some pretty washcloths, or a pretty washcloth, I suppose, but anyway, so I have several yarns for washcloths and scrubbies and things that I'm going to work on, just like some little stuff, um, and some whips, and other than that, I plan on packing everything just to like take some stress off of myself and hopefully get some whips done at the same time, that would be cool. Okay, so then I mentioned that the yarnology stuff it was all half off. I guess I can show you this. It doesn't have anything to do with crochet, but just for fun. Because other than this, it's all yarnology and it's all half off. But I got this because Squirrely Dan graduates in this long. Anyway, so we got him God's Promises for Graduates, class of 2022. And so it just kind of goes through and gives you some different scriptures and things for just whatever you may need. Um, whatever you may feel, whatever little life lessons. Hopefully I've taught him, you know, the basics, the main part of all of this at this point, to mercy's sakes. But I hope. <laughs> yeah. So we got him that. My baby, he's graduating. That's so crazy. Okay, so crazy. All right. Anyway, so then we got pom poms. This jump from almost crying to being like pom poms. Go team. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, rainbow pom poms. Are they not amazing? <laughs> I love them. And I thought at one point about just making them. I just now had this thought. I would just kind of make a hat and make it all cute. But what if I made like a space bun hat? Because I do that a lot. I wear my dreads up in space buns. Which are like when you put two fun buns on either side. And I can make a hat. And make a space bun hat. That may be a whole thing. <laughs> I don't know. But I was. I held them with this. Just because. But I'm pretty sure they would be out of this. 
How fun would that be though? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? Rainbow and just ginormous and fun. And this one has a lot more blue in it than this one does. But yeah, that may be really cute, like a black, just regular hat, like a half double crochet, and then just... <laughs> what do you think? I would wear it, for sure. There's one that they're wanting me to make. If I can find the picture, I'll insert it here. But yeah, they're wanting me to make, it's Zach Wild in the photo and he kind of has the same kind of thing. It's a black hat with like brown puff balls. This is BLS, which is his band Black Label Society. Society, but yeah, Black Label Society. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, it's a puff ball pom-pom hat and hmm hmm okay that might be fun <laughs> so anyway just saying and these and then i got some hooks so okay <clears throat> these are the hello happy but they were also 50 percent off and then everything else is the yarnology stuff but I got these for to make myself some stitch markers or have Miss B make me some stitch markers. But they say, faith over fear. Actually, I can. <laughs> Find your fire, which I liked. Leave her wild, which I really liked. So I like these a lot. Those are super cute. So yeah. Faith over fear. Always. Always. Actually, I can, which is kind of, you know, whatever. But yeah. I like that. Find Your Fire and Leave Her Wild was probably my favorite. I like that one a whole lot. So, got those for some stitch markers. And I got this. Because Miss B. Um, that's her name. It's like Buzz Buzz B. No initials. <laughs> but, just a whole kind of keychain, but it has a B on it. It says Yarn B. Which made me think from Sandy from Crochet A with Sandy because of the yarn bees. So I thought that was super cute. But yeah, it says yarn bee. I mean, oh gosh, I'm dropping things. But yeah. Like, and I may swipe this off of here and then just give this to Miss B. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Heck, I may send it to Sandy. Who knows? You know what I mean? Who knows? Alright. So then before very long, maybe, I don't know, um, I was planning on doing my 2000 subscriber thing according to YouTube, like the regular, what y'all see of YouTube, I got to 2000. According to mine, I never did. It was very confusion. Very, very confusion. So I was, I made it to 1998. Pretty sure it rounds up. So on the main thing, it said 2000. Didn't quite make it. As of right now, I'm like four still away from 2000, but it says 1.99K still. So it still says that I don't have it, which I don't, which is fine. But once I get to there and stay there for a second, or maybe not, maybe I'll just do it before we move just because, but I planned on having a 2000 subscriber, subscriber giveaway. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so I got these. Because I love these. These are one of my very favorite things ever. A magnetic bookmark. Just come on. Have you really lived life? Unless you've had one. If you haven't. I don't think you know how good they are. They are fantastic. So there's this is Dream Big with a sloth. I've had these before. There's Wolf Bowers. A bee. I don't want her. I gave the bee out of this one. I missed bee last time. But some good giveaway things. I have other fun things in the giveaway. Don't get me wrong. And I've had these before also. These were only 99 cents. They are buttons. This is Yarnologist Tangled Up. Uh, life would suck without yarn. It has a succulent on it and yarn for days. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, those were 99 whole cents. So, okay. And then I got these and I was excited about these because I have never seen these before. Well, two of them. This one I've seen a million times because this is my favorite hook. The Yarnology Luxury Hooks are my favorite. This is the 5.5. This is the one I use most of whenever I go to Hobby Lobby. I try to grab me one because I've lost these. Even though I have a whole bunch of them, 
There's been several times where I don't have one. I can't find one. And then there are times where like five of them will be in front of me. And then like the next day, I can't find any of them. It's like the gnomes are playing a trick on me. I don't know. But yeah. So when I go, I try to grab one just because. Plus it was half off. Okay. Then y'all, then. Okay. <clears throat> I found these. These also just say the same thing. Urinology luxury hook. No sit back there and say my hook ain't luxurious when you know it is. You know what I mean? I like that. So, all right. <laughs> Cat Williams joke. So, I got a J or a six millimeter and an M or a nine millimeter. And this is what they look like, y'all. Aren't they cool? Let's bust one out. What did it say? Let's get on this nine millimeter because I'm using it for fruit salad blanket and for my luck of the draw from Nan's Next Nuts. So, okay. So nice. So they're like rubbery, but super soft on the handles. And we had this conversation. It's not going to be very long because I mentioned I like mine to where they don't rub right here. That's why I like the other urinology hooks because they're a little bit longer. I don't like them when they just kind of, that's, I don't know, but it might be okay. We'll see. But anywho, um, but yeah, isn't it pretty though? It was so cool, but it's just a rubbery, whatever. And then this is, I'm guessing just plastic. I mean, I don't think it's resin. I have my handy dandy other ones. This is my Omi and this is a Furls. Play the drums. I mean, perhaps it's Verizon, but I don't think it is. It doesn't say. It says copyright 2015. Heck, it doesn't know. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's just plastic. But anyway, I don't know. Aren't those are really pretty together. Ooh la la. Okay. A peacock. It's fun. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. I just thought they were so pretty and so I can't wait to try it. So I think I'm going to work on my luck of the draw blanket because I am behind y'all. It's one reason I kept that out for my whips because that's the blanket for our bed, for our new room at the new house. And I have a long way to go. So I think I'm going to use this, work on that, watch some more of, I don't know, crew crimes, I suppose, aka true crime. I've been watching the Johnny Depp trial, but I've been waiting like till their ways into it so I can watch it on like one and a half speed. And whenever they break, I can like fast forward through it. Move it along, you know, but that thing is crazy. Oof. Anyway, but yeah. But I need to pack. I need to not worry about any of that. I've been listening to Johnny Depp. Well, not Johnny Depp, but you know, accusations while I pack. Don't get me wrong. But anyway, but yeah, I thought they're so pretty. I love it. It's like kind of like a 80s like splash vibe. I don't know. Very cool. So yeah, I got this one in a six millimeter. I don't know. They probably had a 5.5, but I was already getting that one. And I've been using a six millimeter for like some wearables and things lately. And I've been using my nine millimeter on, like I said, well, the two projects in front of me, much less some other things. So why not? I have lots of 5.5s, you know? So, that's everything. Yes, that's everything. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got from the Hobby Lobby. I really think, especially the more I sit here and think about it, I think that a pom-pom space bun hat would be way cute. Because, like I said, I do that a lot with my hair, where I, like, do one of these. <laughs> it's going to be crazy for just a second. And, like, put it up like this and, like, some really fun little cute thingies. So if I made a black hat, do that same thing. I feel like I would wear this hat all of the time. <laughs> Make it big enough so it fits over my hair. I don't know. Miss B may want a hat out of them. And if she does, then we will have matching hats. If not, space buns. Maybe in our future. Just saying. So, all right. Since this isn't quite 20 minutes, well, it is because of the intro. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just add the Joanne shop with me at the end of this. I didn't buy anything. Um, Finn went in with me 
and he bought some fabric because he sews <coughs> he bought some fabric and some really cool ribbon and he made um like a luchador mask like the mexican wrestlers um the la luchador and so he made a mask out of those i once again it's not my story to tell but maybe i'll ask him if he cares if i show those things because he has one that's like the nacho libre one one that he just made that's fun and then one that he made the other day out of the fabric that he got and he got one that looks like a moon it's like all these different like it's really pretty and kind of graphic sparkly fun and it's blue so it looks like the moon and he has a red one that's kind of like red and orange so it looks like the sun and he bought a ribbon that matches them but it's like these really cool like swirly fun ribbon like very decorative ribbon and to put that on the, i mean it looks so cool he made a sun around one of the eyes and a moon around one of the eyes and it's cool <laughs> so anyway i may ask him to let me share that with y'all i don't know um anyway <laughs> but yeah it's so neat it's like total mom brag there but it turned out so cool so that's what he bought um i didn't purchase anything we did see some this is all at joanne obviously i purchased stuff at hobby lobby but at joanne we did see some really cool because everything was so expensive i couldn't the only thing they had the Shits Creek yarn but it was still 10.99 i hear that right now it's on sale for like four dollars and something <laughs> which would have been cool. I would have definitely purchased me some of that. Um, but they had the, like, Casey, the uh, knit and crochet. They had the cottons on sale for, like, $2, but they didn't have any very, like, cute colors. They were all just kind of plain Jane colors. Nothing that's going to, like, I don't know, look cute and wearable or anything else. So I just, I didn't spend a penny. Mr. Finn did. Um, but yeah, they had some crochet books, which he thought were really, really cool, which they were. There were crochet and knit books that had, um, like, yarn in them. And so it was like a kit where it had two or three patterns that you can make with the yarn that was with them. And he's like, well, that's really neat that they do that so you can make all this stuff. And I'm like, that is pretty cool, but I still didn't get it. But, um, yeah, but I'll go ahead and add that in at the end of this, I guess, and just kind of do a quick shop with me. I think it might be a whole four minutes or something they had clearance and nothing was really i mean even like the mandala cakes were 10 bucks a piece like even the clearance yarn was more expensive <laughs> than it is like walmart or anywhere else so i think i'm just gonna stick to habalabe from here on out because it's my favorite anyway that's my favorite yarn and if it's only 20 cents more than like what i used to deem like the discount yarn yeah for 20 cents for happiness that's a small price to pay you know what I mean so anyway but that is that for Hobby Lobby Joanne in just a second I'll do a voiceover and do a quick shop with me hopefully it'll make y'all nauseous I had to flip some of those videos because some of them are sideways so if y'all want to take your dream of me now please go ahead and it'll kick in by then because of mercy sakes but anywho <laughs> all right so I thank you guys so very very much for watching Hobby Lobby and Joanne's. I hope you all have a wonderfully, wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe and I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, so here is the Schitt's Creek yarn. I already feel like I'm gonna make y'all dizzy. <laughs> My goodness gracious. I love this yarn though. It's so soft and so nice, but currently, I said it's on sale, but then it was $10.99 and I couldn't quite make myself do that. That's the knit and crochet that was on sale for $2.99. I'll, we'll come back to that, I think. These are all just like big twists. I can't even read what it says, but they're $11.99. This is homespun for $8.99. <laughs> it's like want to bellyache a lot on this one. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, the Heartland, um, the landscape, which was $7.99. I mean, just my goodness gracious. Like you said, I saved my pennies. Like this, okay, just the Red Heart with Love. And that's the Hugo yarn, $11.99. The Red Heart Soft was $10.99. I mean, just my goodness. I couldn't believe the prices in here. So I'm kind of whipping back and forth a lot because I'm kind of in shock at this point, to be quite honest. The Bernat Chunky Softy, $5.49. I've gotten it for $2 before. There was this stuff, which was pretty cool. I don't know what you'd make with it. I guess a basket, but... And then I feel like the Bernat Velvet was like maybe $10.99, so it only went up a dollar, which I thought was kind of odd, too. 
Yeah, look at that. Red Heart with Love. $7.49, y'all. What? But I did like these Karen Simply Softs, even though they're $5.49. I really like the colors. They're very, like, spring, eastery pretty. I liked all of those. That teal at the bottom. My goodness. My goodness. So, there you go. Just Karen Simply Soft. $5.49. I mean, I, I'm telling you, I was just in shock <laughs> the whole way through. It's like, what? <clears throat> I really like that brunette pulling, though, that looks like plaid. That was way cool, I thought, personally. Then right here, there's, what, the Big Twist Twinkle and the Tweed for $6.49, $6.59. And then this is just regular Big Twist value, y'all. Do you see this? Regular Big Twist value. <laughs> That's all. Just 380 yards of regular yarn. <laughs> so they're $4.49, which is 50 cents less, I suppose, still than Hobby Lobby. But I like Hobby Lobby yarn a lot more. So, so whenever I was getting this for $1.70, that was a different thing. This is the one that I needed, and I, I couldn't bring myself to purchase it. It's fine. I have yarn. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so I didn't get it. And then... I can't even read what that is. But look, it's an end cap with yarn, y'all. Fun. We're going to get closer. Okay, fun. I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, I was just in my own little, like, shocked world. Look how pretty they all are, though. Just, it's like that pin we just saw. Yarn for days. It's so good. So check this out, okay? <laughs> just like the scrub off regular thing. $5.49. <laughs> I was mind blown 549 then they had regular peaches and cream for 299 which i feel like even is a dollar more than walmart and stuff so i don't know maybe it's not maybe it's just me they had these for 30 percent off but they were all 12.99 a piece for just like the lupid yarns that rainbow is way pretty and then here the mandala cakes are nine dollars and 49 cents a piece it's bananas Bananas. I've purchased those for four dollars before. I remember it happened. I thought that was kind of cool, like your organizational organization bag and some yarn bowls, goodies, things you need, you know, accessories for yarn, yarn accessories, a yarn rolling cart, which was kind of really cool. You just poke your yarn down in there and drag it behind you. It's always a fun time. Here's just like regular thread. That was what's I say. Ten ninety nine or six ninety nine? No, it doesn't. This is eighteen ninety nine. Oh my gosh, eighteen ninety nine. I'm still in shock over prices. Okay, um, <clears throat> embroidery, just stuff. Once again, I hope you all took your dramamine because I was just flailing about. Notions, looms, goodies, knitting needles, all the stuff you need. Shit's Creek yarn again. It was drawing me in, but I didn't quite make it there. And then I found the clearance aisle. So, okay, this is a rumor. All in clearance. Let's just keep that in mind before we see prices. The big red sign right up above it. Okay, fun. 347. <laughs> that was the cheapest one I found. 597. Just one skein. On clearance. And then I don't think these were even on clearance because I probably would have purchased those because I do like an unforgettable. That is a nice, nice time. That was really, really soft. I do remember that. It's 347, but that was really soft. And they had all this Bernat yarn. None of it was on sale. It was on the clearance thingy, but none of it was on sale. So, or that I could find anyway. I didn't find any clearance stickers. They did have these, the Red Heart Minis. Um, had several different colors, $1.47, and I almost got some of those because I like to use those for like amigurumi food and just little things, but at this point I was just kind of annoyed and overwhelmed, so I didn't buy anything. Um, yeah, okay, $19.99, I think I saw a sign down there for their Bernat Blanket yarn. But yeah, and a bunch of them were just thrown in here, they don't have any tags or anything, they just say clearance, so I didn't know if that was true or not, but... That Woolies is so pretty. Oh, I love that so much. Seven ninety nine for one skein of Woolies. I don't think that's even enough for a hat, y'all. Seven uh, Red Heart Super Saver. How is that a sell price? I'll wait. <laughs> Just 
<laughs> what? How is that a sale price? And I looked for a sale price, and that was it. Seven ninety nine. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. So at this point, I was real over the store, but I was waiting on Finn to get his fabric, so <laughs> I continued to look. Seven ninety nine for Red Heart. I can't, y'all. I cannot. And these were seven ninety nine on sale. So they're nine ninety nine regularly. They're seven ninety nine on sale. So yeah, there's the Bernat. All these pre colors are twenty dollars a ball. <laughs> I mean, I guess so, but I don't know. I had some random stuff, and then they had this. I thought this was so cool. So we're almost at the end of the video. Love y'all, just so you know. But this is so cool. It's big quiz. I forgot what it's called. We'll see in a second. Tubular. All right. But for a basket or something, it was lovely. And they had such pretty colors like that blue. I'm all about that blue. I liked it a whole lot. And I couldn't find a price on this one. So, yeah. That and some of the Pound of Loves. So... I said I didn't buy anything. Love you guys.